This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, as if we needed more evidence of Donald Trump's immeasurable hypocrisy, here's just a little bit more for you from today. Our gleefully sexist president just gave a speech before a group of women at the White House in support of women's rights and empowerment. Well, the irony of this entire situation clearly went way over his head. And in the most tone-deaf manner, Donald Trump praised such powerful historical figures as Harriet Tubman, Abigail Adams, and Susan B. Anthony. But Donald Trump's empty words come on the heels of two scandals, each featuring a top Trump ally being a misogynist. First, Bill O'Reilly made a stupid sexist and racist comment about the hair of legendary Congresswoman Maxine Waters. You are not nearly as patriotic as we are. So what does that mean, Bill? We've been listening all morning. We cannot. I, I didn't hear a word she said. I was, <laughs> I was looking at the James Brown wig. <laughs> uh, if, if we have a picture of James, it's the same. It's the same one. No, right. Okay. And he's not using it anymore. I got to defend her on that. You guys are all wrong I about have this. To are you kidding me? That actually happened on television for the entire world to see. If O'Reilly is willing to say that when the cameras are on and they're broadcasting, what's he say in private? Stop judging women by their looks, Bill, and start listening to the words that are coming out of their mouths. You're supposed to be a political commentator, not a fashion critic. Just like his pal, Donald Trump, O'Reilly is a disgusting bully. Well, the other thing that happened this week took place under the actual roof of the White House when Donald Trump's boy, Sean Spicer, took out his childish aggression on another woman of color, famed journalist, April Ryan. And how is their relationship? Has it healed since 2006 when he used a very negative word to so describe? Here's what I'll tell you. It's interesting that you ask. You, 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 it seems like you're hell-bent on trying to make sure that whatever image you want to tell about this White House stays because at the end of the day, the let me answer. I am, I am okay, just but you know what? You're what? asking me a question and I'm going to answer it, which is the president. I'm sorry. Please stop shaking your head again. Stop shaking your head, Sean. Are Donald Trump and Sean Spicer now the arbiters of how women express themselves while on the job? Come on. Well, in the aftermath of these two instances and only hours before he would deliver his speech regarding the women's empowerment panel, Donald Trump was silent regarding the behavior of his good buddy, Bill O'Reilly, and employee, Sean Spicer. Look, women all over America put up with enough in our society without the added degradation from men in positions of power. When Donald Trump refused to stand up for Maxine Waters and April Ryan, he gave his tacit approval. Donald Trump has never respected women, and it looks like he never will.